All right. And we're back. I sent my dad a funny picture of a gorilla. It was very funny. I hope you enjoyed that very useless thing I just, <laughs> just did. So uh, this is the drill platform. I like a nice touch here. This is actually moving at all times. It's actually really cool. I like this. We can also see the uh, the outskirts of the area too. There's still that like aesthetic of Jack and Daxter 1 in this game that I still really like. See, this is why I was like, do not try to use the blaster. So if you actually try to hit these metal heads, what ends up happening is you take instant damage. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we can end up going back here, but there's their eggs. You can't kill them with a gun. You need to use a special handy dandy super duper cool gun to do it. Um, that's up there. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, man, I still think the design of this game is cool. It's a very pretty game when it actually is pretty. But when it's trying to be cold and clinical, I think it just it just doesn't come off as more interesting to me, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a negative Nancy. So these assholes right here, these ball, I always called them that. I don't have a name for them. They're just ball enemies. That's what I called them as a kid. Don't judge me, okay? Don't don't be like, oh, what a fucking du listen. See, they go ball when they die. That's that's all they need to be called. Or I call them the Robotnik guy. I don't know. I don't know what I call these things. They suck either way. And if you get out of the turret when they're still alive, they'll still attack you too. And I don't mind this section, but I don't like it that much. I just really do not like turret sections in games. I've never been a fan of this. Even as a kid, I was like, yeah, this isn't... Like, this isn't the worst. It's not bad, but it just slows down the pacing, you know what I mean? I just don't find it that interesting. But I like how the eggs explode like that. They're fucking nasty. And it really gives the idea that, okay, so metalheads are a threat. Where do they come from? I can't kill this guy, can I? Shoot the metalhead when he moves his shield. Fuck you, Daxter. I'll do what I want. Uh, anyways. Those things are probably the most annoying enemy in the entire game. That's not even an exaggeration. Those shield assholes are just... You'll see what I mean. I'm not good at killing them. And thank God they only show up in like two areas of the game. They, they were like the bane of my existence as a preteen. They're the bane of my existence as a fucking adult, too, so I can't complain now, can I? I think you're safe in terms of getting these background orbs as well. Like, there's no... Ah, shit, I missed one. I'm never gonna get it. There's only two areas in the game that has to happen. <laughs> oh, fuck. You see why I did that, too? Because they shoot you when their shield's down. They're really fucking fast, so... You have to be really goddamn careful when it comes to it. Ooh! And these things don't seem like they're that dangerous either, but... Mm, trust me, there's... It's easy to take damage in this game when you're not paying attention. Just like 90% of my entire brain. Uh-oh, I'm actually running low on scattergun. That's fine, I think there's ammo in here. Yeah! You're never really gonna run out of ammo. Actually, that's not true. The most common ammo you're going to run out of is actually Vulcan Fury and probably Peacemaker. Because Vulcan Fury ammo gets chewed up so quickly. And it's also just really rare to find, uh, like Vulcan, not, not Vulcan Fury, but Peacemaker ammo. I'd like to ask, what is the purpose of this fire shit? Like, it doesn't seem to make much sense to me. Anyways, just shoot those spatula things and you can get up here. Do not try to go forward here. It's a bad idea. There's like fucking one more of those assholes, I think. And yeah, do yourself a favor. Come on. There we go. You do not want to get on that fucking platform and then these assholes shoot you off of it. It's really fucking easy to have happen. There we go. And you can also tell there's a music cue when enemies are around. It's like, brrrr, that sound. Uh... Pretty sure this is where we fight that. yeah. These assholes are really annoying. They just shoot the bridge apart, I'm pretty sure, yeah. They don't actually shoot you. You can shoot them, but it's not a huge deal. So I think... Yeah, we should be fine. I like how they make that nasty noise, which makes you go, Okay, they're in the area. See, that's what happens if you hit one, too. 
if you contact them with even just the edge of your foot, they can deal damage. I'm gonna leave them alone. I hope that doesn't become a problem. Knowing my luck, it will be, though, because it's just the way things work, right? Okay. So I can hit that dude again, too. Hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many of those spawn, by the way. Um, it's probably just safer to kill them, because... Look how many start showing up, too. This is what... So later on in the game, we're going to have a section where we're in these turrets again. And it's just absolutely hell. So, getting used to this idea of killing enemies as soon as they show up on screen, it's probably the safer idea. Because you do not get any health recovery in these sort of, like, sections. You just have to not get hit at all. Come on. Let's see if I can hit that damn shield bastard. Come on. There we go. I think there's one more. You can kind of juggle them into your shots if you're careful, but I'm not really good at it. Come on. Alright, we'll ignore him then. I just want to kill that dude from here. I don't want to deal with him. Okay, this is good. I'm not going to jump off. I already know that's going to be a bad idea because I'll fucking land right in the pit if there is one. And if there isn't one, there will be somehow because it's fucking me, of course, you know. I also like how the metalhead eggs, eggs, sorry, the metalhead skull gems kind of look like fucking... I guess I fucking heard that one. Anyways, they look like pills or something, I've always thought. So, that's a really easy one to miss. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's very easy to miss. Damn it. I'm really bad at that. I, you think I'd be good at it despite having played this game for fucking ever, but that doesn't mean shit. I don't know if there's anything over here. You see, I'm surprised they didn't put an orb over there. <clears throat> as a level designer for Doom levels, which is totally the same thing as a 3D platformer, I would totally put an egg right there because I think that's fair. Pretty sure there's some that... Yeah. See, I remember a lot of this shit because I've died so many times in this game. <laughs> you may be like, did I ever finish this game as a kid? Yeah, but it beat the shit out of me to do it because it's a hell of a hard game, especially when you're really little. Okay, and I believe these are the last of the eggs, too, but you I don't think you can miss any of the uh, orbs in this level, and you can come back here later. Same with the strip mine. Um, I believe the strip mine has an alt path. A lot of the areas in the game have alternate pathways that open up later on, which, you know, I, I do love uh, the fact that they tried to go for, like, a open, like, up environment like they did in the first game, but I still think Jack 1 does it better. Um, there's some areas that you can... I wish there was, like, some sort of, like, connection system that actually had all the areas in them. Like, that was only accessible with certain power-ups. You know, Jack 3 really does have a lot of really cool shit in it, now that I think about it. Because it actually had flight, which... Yeah, okay, you weren't fucking flying through the sky like a majestic lesbian seagull. Okay, no, you, you were basically just extending your jump in a pattern. Which was admittedly kind of disappointing when I was a kid to find out. But it's still cool nonetheless. And people say the PS2 couldn't do cool shit. So it's like, yeah, people go, oh, the PS2 is a... Uh, it was kind of weak, you know, and I'm like, have you played this game or the Ratchet and Clank series? This shit was unbelievably impressive for the time it came out. It's still impressive to this day. Yeah, you can say, oh, look at those clipping into the floor. Fuck you, man. This game is impressive as hell. Also, going through these portals is a good way to get your health filled back up if you're ever in a pinch and you need to do it. So, that's one way of handling it. <clears throat> Now let me see which... I think the next mission's Ashland, right? How much health I have? Full health? Yeah, good. We're in a good position to start the next mission, so... I'll see... Oh my god. If I don't have indigestion first, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is a really weird camera angle. This area is off Apparently.